Ukrainian law enforcement and military officials confirmed that the Russians hit Zaporizhia International Airport with a KH-59 missile, destroying the terminal building. The Office of the Prosecutor General has launched an investigation into the impact of a Russian missile on the Zaporizhia Airport terminal. A criminal case has been opened over violation of the laws and customs of war. Operational Command Pivdin said the Russians had launched a missile attack on the airport with a KH-59 cruise missile. There were no casualties. Recall, on the afternoon of May 25, Russian troops attacked the epicenter home improvement hypermarket in Kharkiv, 15 people were reported killed and 25 more injured. It took over 16 hours to extinguish the fire. On the morning of May 27, it was reported that the death toll from the attack on the epicenter hypermarket in Kharkiv on May 25 had risen to 18, with 48 more people injured. Seriy Balvanov, the head of the investigation department of the National Police in Kharkiv Oblast, said that the body of a 17-year-old boy who was in the epicenter had been found and identified by DNA samples. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky arrived in Madrid on May 27 where he is expected to sign a bilateral security agreement with Spain. Ukrainian leader said in a statement on Telegram earlier that he will discuss weapons supplies and training for Ukrainian soldiers in talks with Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez. Arriving in Madrid's Barajas airport, Zelensky was welcomed by King Felipe. He later met Prime Minister Sanchez ahead of a joint press conference scheduled for later in the afternoon. Under the security deal that is due to be signed between the two countries, Spain will send Ukraine with 1.13 billion euros worth of weapons. El Pais newspaper reported on Monday that Madrid will commit to supply Ukraine with a dozen Patriot anti-aircraft missiles and 19 second-hand German-made Leopard 2A4 tanks, as well as other Spanish-made weapons such as anti-drone gear and ammunition. However, the thanks will need to be repaired, the newspaper added, citing unnamed sources close to the deal. The 12 missiles to be handed over to Ukraine do not include full missile defense systems, El Pais said. During the visit, Zelensky will also coordinate steps ahead of a June 15th to 16th summit meeting in Switzerland and meet with parliamentary leaders. Zelensky was expected to visit Spain earlier this month but he postponed all his foreign trips following Russian attacks in northeastern Kharkiv region. The governor of Russia's Krasnodar region, Vinyamin Kondratyev, said that the drone's debris damaged an unfinished building in the village of Krinitsa. There are vineyards and a winery there, which may be the residence of the Russian president. Another drone flew to the Dzankot farm, located very close to Putin's palace in Galenzik. On the night of May 17, UAVs were already flying near Putin's residence. Not far from the village of Zanhat on Cape Idacopas there is an estate and palace built, according to numerous investigations, for Russian President Vladimir Putin. In the village of Krenitsa, the old province winery was built to process grapes grown on the estate. In 2021, Putin said that the palace does not belong to him and he has never been there. The construction of the Italianate Palace complex first came to the public's attention in 2010 through an open letter sent to then-President Dmitry Medvedev from whistleblower Sergei Kolesnikov. FBK and Proect identified significant changes in the paintings displayed in the palace's common spaces. 
The relatively neutral romantic frescoes are now reproductions of paintings of historical battles, such as the Battle of Borodino in 1812 and the Battle on the Ice in 1242. Step into what was the music room, and you'll now find artwork devoted to famous Russian naval figures like Pavel Nakamov and Fyodor Ushakov.